This is Black Swan, and she's a boat full of character. Um, she's an absolutely lovely vessel. She's a semi-trad, 59 feet 9 inches long. She was built in 2001 by Nottingham Castle Boats. She was originally fitted out by Kingfisher, but she's recently gone some fairly extensive refurbishment. Um, bathrooms all new, kitchens all new. You'll see as we go through. She was grip blasted and two packed, including the base plate in 2021. She was serviced recently. There was a hull survey carried out in 2019. All of the covers, the pram hood, the cratch cover, the storm covers over the pigeon holes were new in 2021. All the curtains were new recently. The paintwork, that was repainted in 2020. All the windows are double glazed. There's an awful lot going for this boat. The gas bottles are in that forward locker. There's one 13 kilo and one 6 kilo with a changeover valve. The water tank is that under that bench going from each side from left to right. That's the water tank. It's integral. There's a seat stroke locker on the right hand side. The well deck is four feet long, by the way. There's your water tank. That is 400. 55 litres. Nice glazed front doors. Then we go. Really lovely. The floor in the boat's amazing. It's uh, reclaimed pine from an old wooden, woolen mill in Lancashire. That was put in in 2020. Head height on the boat, 6 foot 3. The saloon itself is large, 14 feet 11 inches long. There's a breakfast bar there with a couple of tractor seat stools. That's a sofa bed. Acres of room in here. I'm sure you could probably build a dinette and still have that sofa bed there, but I haven't measured it up. The stove is a Portway 4.8 kilowatt solid fuel stove. All lovely wood, look. It's beautiful. Lovely handles, lovely hinges. There's a cupboard under there. The radiators were all new in 2020. They're powder coated. Glazed bulk, uh, bulkheads there. It's a Makuni diesel fired central heating system, by the way, as I mentioned the radiators. In here is a 32 inch television. There's a DVD player with that. Little stack of bookshelves there. So the central heating I mentioned, that was serviced in 2021. And the galley, the galley is good space as well, 9 feet 8 inches long. All the cottagey ironware there. It's a good sized cupboard there. The galley worktops are tiled. There's a larder fridge there. So everything basically in the kitchen was new in 2020. The fridge itself was 12 volt shoreline. There's no washing machine on board, but I'll show you in a minute where I think one could go should you want one. The cooker's all new. It's a three burner gas hob. That's a Thetford. And a Thetford deluxe oven and grill. Pan drawer or pan cupboard under there. And I think this is where you'd put a washing machine. You'd fashion this corner. If you want one, not everyone wants a washing machine. Plenty of laundrettes about, and there's a view. Feel, feels really spacious looking down the boat there. On the starboard side, a couple of cupboards and a microwave. I think that's a Panasonic. No, it's not. It's a Sanyo. Not sure if it makes any difference. There's a side hatch here. And there's a pigeon box in the ceiling over the galley here. On into the bedroom. It's a cross bed. The bedroom itself is five feet one inches long. Cupboards over the bed. Storage under. The windows from now on down the boat are portholes. There's six of them, one foot wide each, and three of them are openers. Another pigeon box over the bed. 
that just folds down there and you flip your mattress over and that's the idea. A little corridor into the bathroom. Nice arrangement this. This is all new. Lovely sink there, that's ceramic. Good sized shower cubicle. Bifold doors. Another radiator there. That is heated off the engine actually by the way, not the Makuni diesel fired boiler. So just the one in the bathroom is heated off the engine. Don't ask me why. A few shelves up there. And where's the loo you ask? Well, it's not in here. There's a sliding door here. Nice stained glass window there. And there's the loo. It's a composting loo. It's squirreled away in there. And the stern cabin, eight feet long in here. Storage under both of the benches you can see there. There's a cupboard in here. These offer two single berths, or it makes up into a double across the boat. So a couple of options there, and in here is some quite useful shelving space. And the electrics are in here. There's an inverter there. There's a brand new inverter being put on, actually, a four kilowatt. There's a galvanic isolator in there. Various battery charging bits of bits of equipment. The storage under these bench seats either side. Lovely, good size crack uh, welder, a uh, pram hood rather. <laughs> the engine's in here. It's a Beta Forty Three. Propulsion is assisted by the hydraulic bow thruster. It's a Cram Fifty Five KGF. There is also an Axiom propeller on her, and it makes such a difference with those propellers to to driving. Lighting's mostly LED through the boat. Hot water. Hot water's heated by the engine. The Makuni diesel boiler. And there is an immersion heater on board fitted. That will work off the landline. Really lovely woodwork. Feels very spacious, this boat. She's got an anchor. Chain and warp, there's a VHF radio on board. All the necessary bits and pieces to just set off and turn the key and go. Well, I think that's it. Oh, there's a hydraulic gearbox as well. I think that's it. That's Black Swan. For further photographs, fully downloadable colour brochure. And the price, go to our website, www.rugbyboats.co.uk.